again, I'm not a bear. I love a bull market. Who doesn't love a good bull market? But I love value. I love reality. And when, when value uh, crosses paths with reality and gets confirmed by technical analysis, you're usually going to have a pretty good result. And that's exactly uh, what we're seeing. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's talk about the markets, right? So another day, uh, same, you know, different day, kind of same uh, headlines coming across, uh, more sanctions uh, hitting uh, Russia, right? That's the, every single day you see a new company uh, pulling out of Russia. What blew me away was the, the announcement today uh, from McDonald's. Did you guys realize when McDonald's came out with their statement, they said, we're, we're, you know, we're temporarily closing uh, operations in Russia. I thought they had like five, six restaurants. They have 834 restaurants in Russia. That absolutely blew me away. Completely unexpected. Uh, you see PayPal after the close. Uh, saying they're you know they're done with Russia. You had Pepsi, yada yada yada. Uh, big news obviously today came out of uh, Biden. It was a little bit late. What's uh, what's new to this press conference? Talking about how uh, they're set to ban uh, Russian oil effective immediately. Obviously, uh, that's a big storyline as well. Uh, you had the Apple event that really didn't. Um, really didn't do anything, right? I, I, I didn't think it was going to to announce uh, anything spectacular, but I'm just kind of looking at my notes here. Uh, you have MLB games, right? Major League Baseball games, obviously, we're, we're staring at a lockout right now, but they have uh, MLB games on Friday nights to, to air on Apple TV. Okay, right? Um, you had some, you know, you had some introduces of Max Studio, which is kind of cool, priced at two grand. Uh, and then an Ultra Max Studio, whatever the hell that is, priced at $4,000. So, hey, listen, it wasn't really uh, anything too exciting. It wasn't like a, uh, you know, like an announcement of an Apple car, which would have been kind of cool, or the Apple toilet, obviously invented by George Costanza. He always gets hosed. But the most important part was the dynamics of the market, that we continue to see the same thing. We see a really good sell bias in the morning. Uh, if you are prepared going into every single trading day, you're gonna see there's a lot of, again, there's a lot of names uh, still have tons of meat uh, on their bones. Uh, what's crazy about the sell-off is they're even selling off consumer cyclicals. Look what they did. Look at this candle on, on Coke, right? That's crazy. Look at Coke. Uh, Pepsi, I mean, look at Procter and Gamble. Nothing is safe, man. You, you feel maybe they're gonna, you know, maybe there's some safe haven uh, in some of these consumer cyclical stocks, but not so much. Like everything uh, is getting really, really hit. And the most amazing part uh, of what happened uh, after the morning session, again, we'll, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Really, really good moves uh, this morning to the downside. And then, you know, we're pretty much done by lunchtime. Uh, very, very rare am I going to start trading in the afternoon. There's, there's, you know, nothing good really happens in the afternoon. Um, ranges contract in the mornings. Ranges expand because people are chasing stocks at different levels. Uh, but in the afternoons, usually ranges contract or, you know, any type of news violence comes out is going to sell off the market. So, you know, we were pretty much done by uh, lunchtime or so. And so I went to take lunch. And next thing you know, we started rallying. Um, and I said, all right, great. You know, because we talked about it on the video, we talked about it pretty much on every video that, hey, the worst markets will always get uh, some sort of rally. And, you know, we started rallying like pretty aggressively. And I was like, ah, okay, I'm, I'm good. Let's see, you know, let's see if, the, you know, if we could get some ranges maybe for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully these, the, you know, the bulls are not going to mess this up. Maybe get a couple of days uh, worth of a bounce. And as soon as I said that, uh, as soon as I said that, you got the Apple event that ended. You had this massive sell-off uh, coming in in Apple. And then the next thing you know, uh, everything that was strong. And when the Dow was up 600 points, right? I was like, wow, it's pretty impressive. Dow was up 600 points. The Nasdaq was up 300. And the next thing you know, slowly but surely, drip, 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 drip. The Dow goes negative. You got a 700 point turnaround just in the last uh, two hours of trading. The Nasdaq gives up 300 points 
uh, down 30, 40 points. And the most important part is, again, what is systematic is going on right now in a bear market is, again, there's a sell bias. So again, we could get stocks. We could even get a dead cat bounce. We could get a, a two, three day rally. The point is every single time we get a rally, if we do get a rally, we get stuff that supply, they turn around again and start making uh, sales. Again, look at, you know, look at names like Amazon. We talked about Amazon. We had room, you know, to the 2,700 lows. Look at this move on Amazon. Did you guys realize, I didn't realize because I don't trade shop a lot. Did you realize, do you guys realize that shop was at 1700 on November 19th? Stock is at $500 a share. That's I mean, pretty aggressive self. And you, you see a lot of names. We talked about UPST last night, right? You know, again, starting to move lower. Tesla today uh, got got really, really saved, right? We had a, a pretty good pivot on, on Tesla today to the downside. You see the channel here? The goalie kick saved this thing. Guys, tattoo this level on your brain. If this level, if this level goes, this is what's what's coming in its future. But again, it's not here yet. It's something that we're just uh, definitely watching. But again, going into tomorrow, uh, again, it's, it's the same thing. We're, we continue uh, to look for value to the downside. Uh, some of the oil names uh, that had strong runs, some of the potash names that had strong runs are starting to get a little tired, starting to get uh, a little bit more heavy. Again, we talked about uh, a name, for example, like ADM, right? Look at the name like ADM. You know, again, it held uh, 83 several times, right? It held 83 several times. Eventually, this 83 folds. Uh, maybe you get a, you get a multi-day move all the way down to what 79, 70, 78, right? This is something that has good value. Again, the stock is tired, had a big, big run. Gravity's real. Maybe something we can watch. I mean, look at names like STX, right? Big, big move down. Completely took out this whole channel here. Again, it's not really a name that I follow, but you you can't ignore a setup like this. Look at a stock like Dell. Right? Look at a stock like that. Look how close this damn thing is to, to starting its next leg down. So you're still seeing a lot of value. Anything that is up is getting stuffed into supply or getting stuffed into a headline. And until that finishes, right? Again, I'm not a bear. I love a bull market. Who doesn't love a good bull market? But I love value. I love reality. And when, when value uh, crosses paths with reality and gets confirmed by technical analysis, you're usually going to have a pretty good result. And that's exactly uh, what we're seeing. But this morning, the, the bears won. Uh, this afternoon, uh, the bulls won. And unfortunately, the NASDAQ should change its name to the Knicks. Because like the Knicks, the NASDAQ gave up a 300 point uh, fourth quarter lead. Again, it is what it is. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the, today's pivots again. Uh, pretty aggressive uh, start to the day. Here was the Apple event that we talked about uh, this morning. So here was Tesla, right? And it really got kicked. It, it really the goalie saved it today. If if, if this thing would have confirmed macro, we would have had a huge huge move. But again, it didn't. Um, nice little trade there on Tesla. 804. If it builds below, can flush. It had an opening range low into the 90s. I thought there was a shot at 787. I thought there was an outside shot at, at 782. And it stopped right at 782. You see the low here? You see the low? Today's low? This is exactly the same low, guys. This thing gets violated. This thing's going. But nice move. I mean, really, really nice move on, on Tesla. Here is the whole uh, opening range break. We, you know, it went from 804 opening range uh, all the way down to uh, 782. Nice move. You know, really, really nice move on Tesla. You know, bingo, right? Bingo. Uh, Qualcomm 150, 149. If it builds below, can flush. They came for the 145 puts. Uh, here is Qualcomm. Not a big move, right? Not a big move at all. Uh, it had a nice little pop all the way down to 147. Uh, again, the market rallied, so did it. But this is the lowest close on Qualcomm. Starts losing today's lows in the next couple of days. Uh, definitely has more uh, downside. Uh, UPST 111.80. If it builds below, can flush more. Here was UPST this morning. Uh, it took out the 11.80, right? Took out the 11.80, traded all the way down uh, to 107, right? Nice move on UPST before obviously everything reversed. I wasn't watching uh, FISV. What the hell did it do today? 94.50, 94 for builds below, can flush. I wasn't even watching this thing at all. What the hell did it do? Let's see. Let's see together. 94, let's see, 94, looks like it went down to 93.50. Marvelous. If you got it, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Uh, Shake Shack, uh, 61 held twice. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, I saw it go down. I, I didn't trade in Shack. I had some, uh, in the video, we'll talk in a second. We had some, uh, Tesla was really, really good. Here was Shack, right? Took out the 61, traded down to 50. Uh, 59, again, nice, nice little pop. Again, if it loses 59, I still like this thing uh, lower. 
Uh, but again, nice move there. KSS uh, held again, held three times 51. I still like this thing. Baidu got smashed. We talked, I think we talked about Baidu yesterday on the video. If I'm wrong, uh, I apologize. But again, it is what it is. Uh, 137, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Baidu. Right here was Baidu. Took out the 37, traded all the way down to 32. Really nice move. Uh, this morning as well, Baidu, buy, buy, Baidu, NVIDIA, few ways to play this thing. This one is a little bit tricky this morning, but every level confirmed. If it opens above 213, it's valid second entry. It opened above, rallied, broke 213, broke 2890, uh, went down to 20650. Again, the market rally, but again, hey, NVIDIA was... Uh, the video is, um, you know, was nice. Yeah, it was nice, and then it came back, and all that blah 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 blah. But anyway, uh, Tesla. This is the number, guys. Tattoo it on your brain. This thing, you know, it's it's up here. This is for the, this is for all the audience, right? This thing loses this number, guys. Not gonna be good. Uh, Baidu, really nice move there. Uh, perfect 206 on deck. And the video got smoked off that opening print. Shaq got hit. Here comes UPST. So again, the value continues. Uh, to be on the market. Again, guys, I don't care if this market, while you're underneath supply, the score, guys, forget about the scoreboard. The scoreboard is irrelevant. The scoreboard is wa water cooler talk. Don't let the bright lights of Times Square, you know, give you FOMO, right? The market could be up 600 points. Everything is on the supply. So every single move, when they when these stocks move, they're literally moving in spurts. They're going into supply, eventually going to get stuffed into supply. That's what a bear market is. Sharp rallies, aggressive sell-offs, but most important, again, here's the dynamics. If you look at the market, again, would you buy, if this was an individual stock, would you buy the stock, right? Look, 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 at, look at this disgusting move here uh, in the queues. And again, keep this in mind. And again, I want a bull market. I love a bull market. Who doesn't love a bull market? But again, I like reality more combined with technical analysis, and that is the key. Guys, God bless. Have a great night, everybody. Get your research done, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.